And so we hear the H H I. And uh, what is this area around here? So we are on the so-called uh, Cynic Center. Uh, the Cynic Center uh, is dedicated to, to big data. And there's, the center has been founded about uh, five years ago. And uh, up to the beginning uh, of this year, it was called Theseus Center. And Theseus, because Theseus was a, a very large German project, which was lasting over five years. And it was dealing with the uh, uh, Internet of Services and semantic technologies. And this was a very big project with 200 million euros funding and 60 partners. And the project went over uh, five years. And, uh, and the idea was to bring all the results which had been worked out in this project, to bring them here, to show them here, uh, to show them to the public here, to, to show them to the authorities here, and also uh, to bring the partners together here to, to work together, uh, to, to, to have meetings. And, uh, and so here are some examples of, uh, yes, this is the last year? Last year, uh, I think from from the last years, uh, some uh, examples what happened here, different events, with some people uh, presentations. Uh, so you see, we, we even have some parties here with some musicians. We had here pictures from the opening, where uh, where some uh, yeah, VIPs were here opening yeah. uh, the center. So what's in the, what's what's going on here? so-called lab area yeah. where people can sit together, uh, work on, 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 on certain experiments, put together some demos, and uh, so all, all the results obtained so far are then shown outside on, on the displays. All right. So, Internet of... Is, not, is Internet, it... Uh, Internet of Services. Yeah. Internet of Services. So it's not Internet of Things? It's not Internet of... Internet of Things is the, is the idea to connect all different sensors, for example, sensors for uh, temperature and uh, video sensors and, and what's around together. Uh, whereas Internet of Services is how to uh, establish services in the Internet. So, for example, you, 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 you have a service for uh, dealing with something and you can put uh, or you can have the service over the internet, so that, that was the idea. Service from the government mostly, or? It's service from the government, uh, multimedia services, so we have different examples here. Uh, multimedia services, uh, and uh, the idea was to describe these services by semantics, and, uh, and, and that was one of the idea of the project, uh, how to develop the, the technology so, for example, that you could uh, describe images and, and, and videos by uh, semantic terms, for example. Uh, semantic terms. Can you explain a little bit more? Or how does that work? Yes. So, for example, if you have a video and you don't know what's, what's in the video, and, uh, for example, uh, if, if you tell the system, uh, I want to look at the scene where, where you have water or where you have a sun, and then the idea is to automatically uh, annotate the videos that you can find then automatically all the parts in the video where you find the sun. So that's a automatic knowledge extraction that from sounds, the video. Does that work? That works most of the times, not always. So it's still um, a big need to improve these technologies, but it, it, it already works quite well. What you just described sounds like insanely advanced. So well, the idea would be, let's say, that YouTube would be able to find out what go happens inside the video. Sure, that's of course that's the idea. You know, in, in YouTube you have huge amounts of videos, and, and you don't know what's what they are about. Except you when just have the title. the title. Yeah, but you don't know what the content is, uh, what the pictures is, if there are persons in there, and uh, and, and and you can always looked for uh, some, uh, yes, for example, if you want to see a scene where water is in or if you want to see a scene where trees are in and, and that, that is possible to find that automatically. So is, that's one of the things you're doing is analyzing video? 
analyzing right. things that's, inside videos. That's special uh, of our special specialty because we are an institute which works on on pictures and, and video, and and that's one of our strengths to analyze the video, so that we can look into uh, the video. So, uh, if something like this were appear, uh, it would understand, for example. Uh, sure, we could, for example, uh, automatically analyze that there is a lady in in this picture without seeing the picture. But this sounds like. Uh, something we really need but sounds like something that's really really hard to do it's surely it's hard so sometimes we don't f we find pictures where which doesn't show a lady but maybe it shows an animal so and uh, of course there are still errors and uh, we try to to do better and to to find less animals and more ladies yeah it would be a problem to confuse both sure yeah all right so what does it say here in the in the in, the, in this that's going to yeah, be in so here. That's, that's, that's a new name, cynic. Yeah. I, I even don't know what it means, so it's some kind of artificial word. But the cynic stands for a new uh, a research area which deals with big data. Because, you know, today we, we have an explosion of information. There's more and more data collected, more and more data stored, and uh, no one knows what to do with these data. And uh, of course, you can exploit the data, so which people are uh, already doing. Uh, and for example, in, in uh, a good example is medical application. So there are a lot of data how uh, patients are, are treated. And so it's interesting for other doctors to, to know what, what, what the treatment was, uh, what the result was. Uh, so you could uh, improve your diagnostics, but you also can improve your therapy if you use all this knowledge base. So analyzing big data and content in video and all that and images and all that sounds uh, huge. How many people are working on this? Uh, in our institute or in general? So on our institutes, it, it, it's not so many, maybe uh, some 10 to 20 people. Uh, but overall, Germany, there are other institutes, other Fraunhofer institutes, which were where the whole institutes work in this area, big data, and uh, yeah, and all over the world. I, I have no idea, but I think there are several thousands of people working in this field, because big data is is uh, is really one of the uh, very uh, hot topics right now in the research area. Uh, in, in Germany, several research programs start on that. Also, the European Union will start its Horizon 2020 program uh, uh, right now, and uh, a lot of money will be spent on that topic, big data. You wouldn't want to have Google do all the work, right? Somebody needs uh, someone else to do something. Sure, some but uh, I'm, I'm sure Google does a very good job, and uh, they, they have also um, very excellent researchers. They have very excellent research labs, and uh, also they have the money to, to do this work. And But, uh, of course, we don't want that only Google has its technology, but also other people have it, uh, and, and therefore uh, we are also working on this. Because to understand things inside videos, you have to add manually every every uh, you know, animal, every everything, and sure, somehow teach that, the system. Yeah, the, you know that's not affordable to do all all this manually to 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 view all the videos and to annotate them manually. Therefore, we are working on automatic methods to do this.